Hi everybody, um, it's September 2015, it's Mike Marston. What I'm going to run through today is the improved um, application tool. There is no installation required, there are no licenses, it's the easy I.O. way as you're all getting used to now. Um, the application tool, what I've done is I've created a file here, a zip file. It's called App Tool 1.6 with test apps. That will all become apparent in a moment. I've also created a folder called CPT Use with App Tool. I've, I've unzipped them, and the first one here is the App Tool. All you do is go to the App Tool, probably run it as administrator mode, run as administrator, in it goes. Now you'll see I've created five examples for you. The first one is just a very simple test. If I hit the start button, it runs. If I now go to the CPT folder, you could pin this to your taskbar if you prefer. It's easy, you don't have to go into this folder every time then. Or just again, run it as an admin. Up it comes, go for the test for, open that. And then you'll see I have a folder called Logic. In there, what I've done is I've tried to create a normal UI, how you would do it normally for a 20K Honeywell Themister sensor. And then what I've done here is simulated it just by putting a resistance value in um, through this filter to just give you a reading in Fahrenheit. And that's it. That's all that app is. If you now close that one and go to, say, the Modbus example and just hit start, again, open your CPT, go to your Modbus example. Press OK. You will see how other people have done their Modbus examples. So there's your device. Uh, sorry, that is, that's the service. And then inside you've got devices and you've got registers. So that's that one. The next two are fully documented and they're what we call our reference apps. So if you go to our Chiller Sequence app and you hit start and now open CPT and go to Chiller Sequence you will see we have a very detailed application that can be modified. So what you do is you read the document, you see if you agree with it, or if you don't, you can make changes to it. And also we've got the graphics in here as well, okay, which you'll see in the document. You can't do much with the graphics with the offline tool. You could modify them, but you wouldn't be able to see them running. You need a controller to do that. And then lastly, let's just go to the, let's just stop that, let's go to the, um, AHU VAV to start that start CPT again and where is it uh, further down it's just in here start that one up and again you can go through and look at the logic and this one is also documented and I've also popped the graphics in there so you can take a look at what they look like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this on YouTube and I'm going to give you links to where you download these programs and these documents so that's all for now. Hope you enjoy it. Give me some feedback. Thank you.